this is the big one. Man, we could play that open over and over again, just that music and the buildup, and that would just get you excited, but we're not gonna do that. But the, I, my favorite, favorite part, part, my favorite part is, is, the, is the bull. Uh, Greg Stevens is with me tonight again, uh, as he will be all this week, and I'm so excited and thrilled to have him with me. But every time, <laughs> every time it comes on, he nudges me and starts laughing because the, yeah, that guy you, was mad at me. Yeah, he was, he was, not, he was not happy, <laughs> was he? He was not a happy camper. I don't, I don't recommend, I recommend you go to the stockyards. Come to Fort Worth. Come to Fort Worth, visit the stockyards, but I don't recommend that you do what he did. He, whatever he said to that bull, don't say that to the bull. I don't know what you said. We'll get into that later. But, uh, about, man. I would like a hamburger. I'm hungry or something. I think it was. <laughs> that's not the thing to say to a bull before you get on. No. All right. We, we've already had busy. a great day, haven't we? It's been wonderful. <laughs> yeah. We, we had a great day already. It, it, it's, it's been an amazing day. I'm liking how the Holy Spirit builds a theme yeah. in, in the teaching. Yeah. And I, I guarantee it will continue right on tonight with Brother yeah. Copeland. Uh, if we talked about it this morning and all day today, uh, this is Southwest Live. We are thrilled to be doing this program this week. We've got a lot of elements that we want to share with you. And I'm really excited, I really am, uh, to have Greg with me this week uh, to help me do, do some things. And uh, he, you know, he, he brings an element to the program. I wish you could, we, they should roll camera before we come on because he and I are having such a good time. It's kind of like my older brother. <laughs> <laughs> younger one. Yeah, well, younger, <laughs> younger <Whatever>. brother. <laughs> I didn't say who was older. <laughs> now, one of the things that KCM is really, really big on, and there's a lot of them, but it's outreach. Uh, and you've done you've done some outreach uh, in your ministry and your time with KCM and before. But outreach is a big deal at KCM, and uh, we want to show you some footage uh, of some outreach that KCM does. And I, and when we come back, we're going to have a couple guys that are going to share with you about the KCM outreach and what it means to this ministry. Watch. Evangelism is just an overflow out of your relationship with Heavenly Father. Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. So that's what we're going to do this week, is we're only going to go where He tells us to go. We're only going to say what He tells us to say. And He's going to get all the glory for everyone healed. Everyone saved, everyone set free this week, amen? You know, each day you should wake up and you should say, Lord, use me today to be the miracle in someone's life. What God is trying to do with us this week is to get people's attention. Psalm 5 verse 12 in the New Living says, He surrounded us with the shield of love. If the Lord tells me to minister to this brother, there's a shield of love around me that I can't say anything to offend him because it has to go through that love filter. He can't say anything to offend me because it has to come through that love filter. Just start conversation. This isn't just a method. I got to do this. I got to No, it's all about loving on people. It's an experience. Say this prayer with me, Heavenly Father. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for me and rose again. I give you my life. I want Jesus Christ to come into my life, into my heart. Amen. Faith comes by what? Hearing and hearing the Word of God. Well, you know, uh, saving of souls is what business Jesus Absolutely. is Absolutely. That's what Jesus came to this earth to do, was to save, save humanity. And so uh, outreach and evangelism at KCM is something that we take very seriously because we're trying to take as many people with us 
before he comes. And he's about to come pretty quickly. So I have with me tonight Riley Stevenson, who you saw in the video, and Brian Sanders, who are both heavily involved in our outreach evangelism at KCM. Now, uh, there was a lot of preparation that went into this meeting in terms of evangelism. Talk about what happened leading up to this meeting. Yeah, well, actually, the preparation has been 20 years. Wow. Riley and myself have been at this for 20 years. Yeah. And so you've got to figure it out now, though, don't you? Know, you know, we don't. We really, <laughs> really don't, because the Lord continues to show us stuff all the time. Right. Like some of the stuff that we saw today, you know, uh, Lord and is that, just. And that video was from just that, today, right? That was from this yeah. morning. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, you know, what what we're trying to get across this year. In fact, let me just read this uh, picture, or actually read this scripture, uh, Tim, in First uh, John chapter four. Verse 18, and this is kind of the theme of what we're doing this year. It says, there is no fear in love, yeah. but perfect love casts out all fear. Yeah, it does. And so, I mean, that, that's literally talking about casting away from you. So, perfective love, when that love is perfected, right. when you come up to a stranger, no matter what the need is, love is always present. So, if it's healing, love is present. Yeah. If it's deliverance, love is present. If it's salvation, love is present. Yeah. And so, you know, the Lord just showed us that, uh, you know, lots of times with evangelized people, and you use the word evangelize, people go the other direction. Sure. Like they say, hey, let's go out on the street with Riley and myself. Right. They like, no, nah, that's not for me. But if I was to tell you, hey, I want you to go love on those kids over there, that brings a whole different dimension. perspective. Yeah, it does bring a yeah. different dimension. Now, Riley, we were watching some of the video while Brian was uh, reading that scripture of you out, actually out on the street. Uh, how many people do you take with you when you go do that? And what's the training that's involved in doing it? We take as many people as that will come <laughs> yeah. in. Yeah. And we usually send them out. We, we pray and ask the Lord where he wants us to go specifically I mean, we have some areas that we can send people, yeah. but we have them pray, hear from the Lord, yeah. and then go. It's not hard. Yeah. And so we take um, whoever wants to come. The training sessions that you guys had leading up to this, yeah. uh, pretty intense, weren't they? And, and but, but very fruitful at the same yeah, time. Absolutely. So actually last week we went out, and, and this is something that Riley does is before an event like this, he'll go out in advance and work with the local churches. So actually, we had 22 churches represented today. Right. So what that means is that 22 different places after this weekend, they're gonna be able to use these tools. We're saying like this, we're training, yeah. we're equipping, and we're mobilizing the body so they can go out and do the work. Right. And right. so um, it, it's amazing. And so uh, with all that we do, the one scripture that comes to mind when you ask Raleigh, Jesus left the 99 to find the one. Yeah. And man, there's not a greater thrill to be listening and he says, you need to go to Subway yeah. and there's a girl there and, and her name is Donna and you're gonna talk to her about Jesus. And when he tells you to go do that and you see that happen, <clears throat> or you walk up to somebody and after you've met them and you introduce yeah. them and you have a fellowship and, and, and uh, uh, you do those icebreaker type things, then how can I pray for you? No, notice what I said. I didn't say, can, can I, pray, I for pray for you? How can I pray <laughs> yeah. for you? Right. And then you just be quiet. And then we, we listen to them right. and we pray. Yeah. They say, pray for my dog. We pray for their dog. <laughs> but you know what that it does? It turns that situation yeah. from maybe a natural situation yeah. to a spiritual situation. Where and you actually start, care for me. Yeah, they start looking within and then it's just a matter of And that's of happened to you guys so many times. I know oh, that's yeah. happened to you so many oh, times yeah. where you've been out. Oh, and yeah. It's just, just the most amazing. God will yeah. just tell you things. You're like, okay, I'll, yeah. just, I'll just say that. Right. And you've done that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, talk about maybe one of those that comes to mind where totally out of the blue, God tells you to say something to well, somebody. Kim well, Kim can testify. When I was first hearing the Lord, yeah. this was years ago, like 98 or 99, 2000, we were driving to church. We lived in Gainesville, hour and a half away. Right. And we're running late for church. And the Lord says, there is a guy in the beer cooler 
of PJ's, I want you to go in and talk to him. He yeah. needs to be saved. <laughs> now, Kim and I are, are late for church. PJ's is coming up. It's about a few miles up the road on the exit. And uh, I said, hey, Kim, the Lord said, there's a dude in the beer cooler at PJ's. He wants me to lead him to the Lord. And Kim was like, we're late for church. And I said, baby, you let him go to hell. <laughs> She's so, like, no, no, no. So you go to BJ's, you walk in there. I walk in there like I own the place. Right. I open the beer cooler, yeah. walk in. I said, hey, man, the Lord spoke to me a few miles up the road. He said, come in the beer cooler. You need prayer. Wow. Tears started pouring Praise down God. their wow. eyes. Man. Led them to the Lord, yeah. and we actually yeah. were on time for church. That's yeah. great. That's now, him. real quick, I got about a minute. Yeah. So give us the website for people that want to know more about evangelism. I'm glad and get you involved. asked that because, you know, one of the keys is prayer. Right. And on kcm.org, in the search section, if you just type uh, prayer, and salvation. In fact, the title is How to Pray for the Unsaved. There you go. If you've got a lost one, it gives you a great tool to yeah. pray for the, um, the lost. Right. And uh, it's, it's very powerful. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, contact KCM. Both of these guys, one of these guys will be glad to help you because as they said earlier, 22 churches were involved in this. So that's 22 churches that now are going to have people that are going to go out and evangelize in their area. So contact us, contact these guys, and they will be glad to help walk you through how to do exactly what they do, which is very, very easy. Now, uh, I'm gonna, I'm not, I don't know exactly where he is, but I'm told Greg is back behind me somewhere uh, in the book tables. He's gonna be walking around talking to a few people. So let's find out where Greg is and find out what he's got for us, Greg. Tim, thank you. I'm over in the exhibit area right now, and this is what we call the faith wall. And if you follow me over, hey guys, hey. do you realize that you're standing in faith? Yes. yes. Literally standing in faith. This is the partner area, partner services, and we're doing all the social media from where are you guys from, real quick? Fort Worth. Fort Worth. Fort Worth. Fort Worth. All local, all local Fort, Fort Worth. Worth. So what we're doing is people are taking photos here and we're doing the hashtags KCM partner and hashtag soul brokers. And so you can help us by by using these hashtags as you post things, as you're watching the network. So this is where people take a photo and they are standing in faith. Come here, here's another little guy right here. Who is this, who are you? Caleb. Caleb, you moved here from where, Kansas? Kansas. How old are you? Um, just turned uh, 10. Just turned 10, I'm glad you're here. Welcome to, to the Southwest Believers Convention. Okay, follow me and we're gonna go around to the partner services area. This is where you, the registration is behind us. And when you come around, one of the things that we're doing this year for our partners is on your badge, you get a ribbon that says partner, and then how long you've been a partner, five to 10 years, 10 to 20, 20 to 30. And then some of you I know have been partners for more than 30 years. Come on around, let me show you some other things in the partner area. Here's some information concerning the Israel tour, uh, 50 years in ministry, different things they're handing out, bulldog faith, little bulldogs. And here's some more people getting their photos made. This is a wall right here that you heard Pastor George at EMIC, Eagle Mountain International Church. Hey, thanks for coming with me. They uh, began talking about your faith project. And we've carried that over here. And so people have been filling out cards with their faith project. And we pin them to the wall. And at church, at EMIC, we pray over each and every one of these every single day to, that we're standing with you and agreeing with you. And it's the same with Kenneth Copeland Ministries. You need to realize that because you're a partner, we agree with you. We pray for you and we lift you up uh, in, in your needs and your faith project. Let me bring in somebody real quick. Gene, come here. Gene Bailey, we are live on the network. Hey, you know network. this guy from Revival Radio. Yes. We are in the partner booth at, at uh, KCM. What's going on? Well, I, I heard there were dogs over here, so I was trying to see what the deal was. There are. We've, go <laughs> we've gone to the dogs. It's gone to the dogs. Um, it says right here that I have bulldog faith. Tell me about bulldog faith. It's what you'll get when you come to the convention. It's what you'll get, so you need to be here. And you can still get here, if, if you're close, if you're within driving distance, we've got all week left. We would encourage you to get here. Come put your My Faith Project up, get your 
uh, your picture made, stand with um, the uh, bulldog, have bulldog faith. And uh, there's so many other things to see. All of the other exhibits are in here. Brother Copeland's car. What is this car, Gene? The Buick Lear Sabre. We've got about a minute left. It's, it's the original car. This was the, minist the ministry vehicle. Everything, including John and Kelly and all the gear, <laughs> would go in the station the, wagon. The tape recorder, the reel-to-reel. -reel. Everything. Everything. And so they would put... Can you believe it? That was a road meeting right there. That was the road, the road vehicle. And look where it is today. Yeah. And uh, it's just a wonderful experience. It has been a fabulous day today here at uh, the ministry. It's been a wonderful experience. What have you taken from it, what you've seen? You know, I thought today, especially uh, when uh, Jesse was talking about hearing, 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 and fell right behind. I heard you say this earlier, Keith Moore talking about the way you hear faith. Come faith comes by hearing. And what are you confessing? What are you saying? I believe. I mean, this is really rich. And it's interesting already on a Monday how things are weaving together and it's got to a cohesive message. Man, this is this is really isn't that the isn't that the way revivals are though? Absolutely, absolutely. It's, well, you know, God moves sovereignly, and there it happens. You're open to people that's open and willing and ready to do it. And so when they say this is the big one, the last twenty seconds here, this is the big one. We're already starting to see it. Aren't we? we are absolutely. It's the big one. You need to get here. You need to get here. It's not too late. If you can get here, get here. If not, continue to watch right where you're watching on every available voice. Now, listen. Here's what we want to do. I want to now show you what some of the attendees and partners have been saying right here. We'll go to videotape and watch what they're saying today. Watch this. I mean, I've come from England where we don't have massive buildings like this, so I'm just like this all around the old place. So I'm just trying to get used to the environment. I would say the amount of word that you get here. I mean, literally, you get five speaker, five speakers a day, or five sermons a day. You get all the all the greatest word of faith teachers here. It's just ama It's really amazing, and the atmosphere of all the, of the spirit filled people is really like you can touch it. It's so tangible and so electric. It's amazing. I mean, it's good to see a lot of people with so much energy. I mean, I mean, if you could get this kind of thing in a football field, how much glorious in a place where we're celebrating God. My expectation is for the glory of the Lord to show up big time on the people of God. Well, we'll do extraordinary things in this last day. And I figured this was the best place to be for that to happen. Um, every year I come just expectant that God's going to do something big in our lives. And I know that we always need to hear about faith. It's a, you know, we walk and we live by faith. So for me this year, I was like, I need to press in. I need to, I need to receive, but also I know that I need to get something so I can give to other people too. Thank you for, thank you for everything you've done for, for America, for the world. Keep believing, keep having faith, keep speaking the truth, no matter what comes against you. And just know you guys have made a difference in my life and everybody's lives that knows you. It's awesome. Well, I believe that we're going to get refreshing. We're going to get led by the Lord, uh, more spiritually aware, uh, generate up our joy and bring it with us and hopefully spread it around. Jesus is Lord, believe it. Now all that in just a morning and an afternoon session. Can you imagine what it's going to be like by Friday when we start talking to people about what they've gotten all this week? And a lot of these folks come to these meetings every year and they know why that they, when you come, that it, when you come to a meeting like this and you stay in the Word of God all week, you don't leave the same way. Uh, I've got with me tonight two folks that have been to every one of these. Both of these ladies have been to every one of these conventions. They started when they were very, very young. <laughs> Kelly Copeland, Jerry and Savelle, you know them. You really don't need any introduction to these two ladies, but uh, I'm really thrilled to have them here tonight because we've got some really special things to talk about tonight. So, how you guys doing? We are actually awesome. have a confession. Uh oh, what? you haven't been to every one of them. I missed one. Oh Ow. my goodness. It was in a really like yeah. awful time. I don't even like think about it, but I'm not ashamed of no, it. No, okay. I, I used to Maybe be ashamed that I missed one. Maybe she'll get saved at this convention. <laughs> no, I've got freedom over it. I really have. It. Actually, it was, you know, we all have that time, but anyway, it wasn't yeah. good, but I cannot tell a lie. Okay. Well, <laughs> well I, I could, actually, I have, I told but her. not, I, I told don't do didn't, that anymore. So, yeah. No. <laughs> I apologize for lying on behalf of Kelly. <laughs> I did uh, miss one. You guys have had a lot of life experiences. 
together, uh, yes. You've had ministry experiences, but you've had life experiences together, as Jerry said. Yeah. Uh, one of the things, uh, I want to jump right into what we're going to talk about. You, you know who their dads are, all that. I don't need to talk about that because we've got a lot of other things we want to get into. You guys have learned over the years how important it is to have someone that you're accountable to, people you can be real with. Yeah. Uh, talk about how that has come about. The two of you and your producer, Kim Stevenson, uh, y'all kind of have this little thing where y'all were real with each other. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I think part of the problem in the in the body of Christ is just this idea that has come with all the word we've gotten and all the things, the knowledge that we know what to do. We know how to walk the walk. But the idea that it's on us, you know, when Creflo started teaching us about grace, that that's hard to hear sometimes. It hits your I gotta do it ear, I gotta perform ear, I've gotta keep my life looking great and you don't even realize you've slipped into this self um, supporting thing um, and but that's of course a trick of the enemy for us living in that preacher kid in that bubble Fish in the mom. bubble yes. where everybody's watching you know so it's been awesome to have her all in my life um, you know we've been through a lot together we've been through marriages and We've had uh, how many? Eleven children. We have. We've uh, we've well, been I through can't. divorce. Both of us have been there for is. yeah right. divorces. We've been there for each other. Yeah. So to have her in my life, she gets it. Not only just as a woman, but as a preacher's kid yeah. and that kind of thing. Well, so. don't you find? And I think that's part of the thing when you when you realize that you guys get it. Other people see that. They say, oh wow, they have issues. Yeah. They've been through stuff and they Oh, you get mean it. the Copelands and the Savelles aren't, they're not perfect, right. they don't have to leave. I mean, y'all didn't see our parents when they were having hard times. Yeah. You didn't see them when they were growing, I mean, they never got a divorce. But honestly, I think my, I would equate the real problem back to the place where I had to learn. I think we both had to learn to be real before Jesus. There you go. Yeah. And once we got we're real with Jesus, yeah. It's free to be real with each right. other, to be real with Kim. I mean, we ended up, I call, I'll just tell how it, our group kind of got started okay. was, I was going through a divorce, another, another I mean, to me, I know Jerry-Ann's had this thought, another divorce, really, really? Another one, not yeah. just one, another one? Yeah. And the Lord, I said, I had this condo booked in Hawaii. I said, Lord, what do I do with it? And he I need to cancel it. He said, no, I'll tell you what to do with it. So he said, I want you to invite these people. And he gave me this list of people. He said, invite them to be on your healing team. And I'm like, I'm gonna tell all these, these women, pastors, friends, that what's going on in my life. So I'm typing up the email to send to them. It's hard. It's hard to say, this is messed up. Yeah. I've got, I'm in a place, a hard place, and I need your prayers, and this is what the Lord's told me to do. So I invited them, and the Lord said, don't worry about who says yes. Well, in the end, everybody said, well, you know, I've got something I have to do, and I'll pray for you. But two friends said yes. Jerry and I was and like, <laughs> Jerry and Kim, I'm like, Lord, you said not to worry about who said yes, but these two seem like oil and water to me. I don't know. Because this is, you know how you have your friend over here right, and your friend right, over and here they, and you're like, neither, <laughs> neither the two shall meet. Right. What are you saying? We're like feisty and strong willed. They're both something? strong. But you know, we got there and Jesus just stripped away everything, I think, right. out of all of us. But here we were at the beach just getting real. And it was in that time there that you guys decided, or the Lord dropped in your heart, to start this program. Well, no, actually, we didn't know. it was the next, a couple years later, we took another beach trip right. to Florida. And she had been on the show with me, my dad's show, and I'd had her on. And it, my mom, when it was over, my mom said, it was so good, I didn't want it to end. You and Kelly should have your own show. So we went to Florida on a beach trip, and I kind of threw it out to her one day. I said, what do you think about us having our own show? And she goes, yeah, I'm in. So I just started praying, planning, prepping for this beach house show. That's our place <laughs> is the beach. And I really didn't want it preaching. Yeah. Like a, a set where we're preaching. Yeah. I wanted it to be like you're in our house with us, just chilling, yep. just hanging. 
because that's what, what we do. When we get together, we can spend hours. <laughs> and it's got a real catchy name, right? Jerry and Kelly. Yeah, real catchy. <laughs> Kelly and Jerry. Oh. I gave her the honor you because You gave her she's first oldest. billing. Right. So you've so you've actually been in the studio. You've recorded twelve episodes yes. already. Yeah. What are some of the subjects that you've talked about in those twelve episodes that might be of interest to people that are watching? Well, we both talked about faith, and it came out in different ways. We've had different lives and experiences and things the Lord has shown us. But it was so powerful together. Our we've story. talked about our story. Yeah. She, her, her, she talked about yeah. her life story, my story, where the Lord has had us. It all does point to freedom in Him. Just yeah. being, if you can't be real, you can't be free. Nope. You turn to Jesus, you get free. That's right. in the Word, that's right. in the Bible. So you talk about divorce. We do. You talk we about do. We we throw, it comes up, counselors. you know. We had these uh, marriage counselors. We talked about divorce, and then after, we had these marriage counselors on that talked about letting go, which right. had to do with any, any talk, anything you know you need to let go of. Yep. Then just to balance it all out, we had her parents My on. Right. Yep. Yeah. For a good example. Right. And her dad has agreed. He's coming on the show. How yeah. wonderful. And we're going to have my dad. So both our dads on. Wow. But they can't preach. We're just going to let them That's like great. be dads. Now, yeah. I know you're listening to this thinking, man, I would love to see that program. Tell us about that program. And where, where, might they be, why, where might they be able to see that program? I'm thinking the BBOBN. I'm thinking that's where they can see it. And you know, I will say, we didn't do the show and think, if we do this, they'll let us on. I mean, obviously, it's my dad. Right. No, my she dad. wanted to do the proper protocol, and I'm like, hello, you're a Copeland, I'm a Seville. And Let's she's pull like, those no, strings. we're going to do it we're the right go way. We're going to go the right channel. I'm like, and... I think we've earned our rights. So we did and it the right way. I knew we can't put the, our sourcing there right. and so we we right. set ourselves an agreement that he would direct it and yeah. so it's been really good really so her we sister are was airing in September yay, yay. September. <laughs> September the new you, fall the lineup. new Kelly yes. and Jerry show yes. on you would the be BBO. surprised at the things that come up oh so I probably wouldn't but most people probably would be <laughs> you've I, known Long yeah, enough. I've known you long enough for most of that stuff would not surprise me whatsoever, yeah. but it's so exciting and I'm so happy for the two of you because you. Uh, you not only have talked the talk, but you've definitely walked the walk. You've been through a lot of stuff well, and I think people can relate. Well, we just want to be real. We don't, yes. you know, we want to say, hey, we've been through stuff. Yeah. But Jesus. And no subject Jesus. is really off limits, is no. it, on your program? No, we're going to go there. You're going to go there. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. so if you're easily offended, you might not want to watch the first few episodes. No. Or, and if you're religious or you think Copeland and Savelle can do no wrong, right. then don't watch. Don't watch. <laughs> Jerry and Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Jesus really is the yes. gospel. Jesus yes. is the message. You're not free if you're free in yourself. Yeah. You are so bound up. Man, if I am about me, I'm done. Right. I'm toast because I'm just not that good. Yeah. And if Jesus can't do it on his own, he said, I can do nothing of myself. Praise the Lord. And you That's know what? Good. We yeah. can do nothing of him. And it took us a long time yeah. to get that, but we got it. We yeah. got it. We got it. We Man. can help you get it too. So September on the Believer's Voice of Victory Network, the <laughs> Kelly and Jerry program. Now, we're going to have Greg walk back in here and finish this thing off with us. Uh, come on in, Greg. Uh, Okay, first of all, I want, to, I want to watch this. You want to watch that, don't you? I'm excited about this. Yeah. You hear about The View and other shows? Right. This is the real deal right absolutely. here. Absolutely. I'm excited about Yes, it. absolutely. Sorry, I'm walking No, in. good. I'm, I'm glad you did. Now, we got pre-service prayer coming up. Yes. Pastor Terry. So people need to stay, stay with us, don't they? Pre-service prayer. And then there's some guy tonight that's speaking. You know, Kenneth he has Copeland. a promising future. He Brother really Copeland. does. Yeah. Brother Kenneth Copeland tonight. Copeland. It's going to be amazing. You don't want to miss yeah. tonight. So stay right. tuned. Yeah. And you guys will both be here tonight, right? Are you preaching in Super Kids? No, tomorrow night I'll be tomorrow in Super night, Kids. Tomorrow night in Super Kids. Yeah. yeah. And you're just here because you like to come to these meetings. I'm here. And We're you never here. miss one. Who would miss it? <laughs> <laughs> Although you really never miss one. I, I give you credit for that. My heart was here. Yeah. Yeah, your heart was here. Oh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> Well, we are, uh, we're going to go to free service prayer. Pastor Terry Pearsons will be here for the next 30 minutes. And then at the top of the hour, uh, you'll have the praise and worship. And then Brother Copeland will be here. Uh, now, listen, 
don't go anywhere tonight because there's no telling what's going to happen, but I can tell you it's going to be good. Jesus is coming. He's coming. He's <laughs> here. The big one. It's the big one. He's here. The big one. He's here. The big one. He's here. The big one. Absolutely. Well, God bless you, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, in September, the Kelly and Jerry program right here on the Believer's Voice of Victory Network. We are so excited, and we know you are too. Well, we're going to turn the service over now to Pastor Terry Pearsons, and then we'll be back in a little while to close things out. God bless you, everybody. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of tonight.